<laughs> Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. So the question is, why do we stress and harp on patients who smoke? Well, smoking can actually lead to increased degeneration of the disc. Cigarettes is a vasoconstrictor. So your joints, your, the disc, which is the cushion, the shock absorber that is between each of the bones in your back, it requires blood flow and it requires nourishments and, and certain mediators to keep it healthy. Well, if you're a smoker, the nicotine will vasoconstrict your vessels and it leads to less blood supply and less healing factors to that level. Or if you have a fusion, it leads to less blood flow and nutrients and bone building cells getting to that area to fuse it together. So typically, I try to stress to my patients to stop smoking, but I also understand that patients, they've been smoking for 40, 50 years, it's gonna be hard to quit. So I tell them to try some other um, non-pharmacological and pharmacological treatment modalities to um, help them with smoking sensation. So smoking, really bad for your back and your neck. If you require a fusion, I would recommend, highly recommend that you stop smoking. It can lead to what's called pseudoarthrosis or the bone not fusing together. It can also lead to infection, drainage problems, and a whole other slew of uh, complications. So that's what smoking does to your back and your neck. I would recommend that you talk to your healthcare provider about some smoking sensation options that may be out there for you. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.